the Canon M50 mirrorless camera. This camera currently goes for $649.99, $700 after taxes, and it comes with a lot of accessories, such as a lens cleaning kit, lots of programs for editing photo and video, an SD card, an SD card reader, a carrying case, lens filters. I chose to get the whiteout edition of the camera because black is the most common color for these cameras and that means in the future mine will be worth a little bit more than the black ones when I go to sell it. Some criticisms I do have is it's a mostly plastic body and it's very cheap feeling. Also, the menu is very weird. I have it switched back to the classic mode and this is coming from someone who used a Canon Rebel T5i, and I vastly prefer that menu over this menu, even when this menu is switched to classic mode. It is just very confusing. The buttons are awful on it. Nothing does what it did on the Rebel series camera. Now let's look at some video tests. Four K twenty four FPS digital stabilizer enabled. Hello everyone, this is me doing a video log type mode. The lens is zoomed out pretty much as far as I can get it to zoom out. And I do have digital stabilizer on. And the audio level is set to manual at one tick, the first main tick on the screen, which is the one that will give me the audio levels of, I believe, negative 12, which is common. Negative 24, negative 12 are the most usable audio levels on most cameras built-in microphones. ISO was at 250. In this clip it is at 1000 and the lens is at f3.5 which is seems that it's bringing in more light but this camera is really difficult to film low light in because everything's much smaller it seems compared to my T5i the lens isn't able to take in as much light but if there is no um, grain or anything like that in the darks if there's no film grain that's actually good in my opinion because the T5i had a lot of grain. But I think this and low light shots, just how much color is lost in 4K mode and 1080 mode is a little extreme. So you're going to really need to have some lighting if you plan on using this for filming. Low light shots, that is, just so you can edit the colors better. Because look, it's just completely dark here. At least on the LCD screen, it's completely dark. The blacks are really dark, and then the lights are really bright. Of course, they're going to be really bright when it's wide open. When the lens is wide open at 3.5 f-stop.
but I still vastly prefer the buttons, the menu layout of the Rebel T5i over the M50. But the M50 is not necessarily a bad camera. It does have some very good advantages, such as it's one of the cheaper cameras that still has an external microphone jack, which is great. It still has manual audio recording, which is needed for complete control of your audio setup. And also, it is lightweight. It may be, you know, cheap plastic, but the lightweight makes it easier to hold for prolonged periods of time. And this battery, I can get about an hour and 10 minutes of 4K video before the battery finally drains, which is better than the T5i battery, which I could get maybe 45 to 50 minutes of 1080p before the battery would crap out. But this is doing 4K for over an hour. That's incredible.